Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel e-commerce project tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the customer see their own orders. So first of all, let me just log out from here. And there you can see currently we are in the home page. So let me just log in as a user. So I'll click on login. And then give that user email. Then the password here. Then click login. There you can see we are currently logged in. And let me just add a product from here. Let's say this one, add to car. And the product is added. If we now go to the car, we can see the card. So here we can give our current address, name and phone number. And after that, if we click on place order, the order is placed. If we just refresh our order table, there will be one more data over here. Here you can see. But the problem is the user is not able to see their own order. So what we are going to do is that we are going to have a orders option over here so that the user can see their own order. So let me just go to the code and we will go to resource then views inside views we have home folder and inside home here you can see header.blade.php. So if we just go down here you can see my card option. So before this my card we are going to have one more option and that will be order so let me just copy it and after this all i'm going to paste it and paste of this icon we're going to say here let me just remove this and we're going to say here orders or let's just say here my orders my orders and uh, instead of my card let's say here my orders let me just save this and if we now just refresh here there you can see we have one more option over here at the top which is my orders how do you know is that when you click on this option it will take us to another page where the user will be able to see their own orders so for it let's go back to the code again and here you can see i just mentioned a url name here so let's go to our routes the web.php and we'll write a route for this so we'll go to web.php so here in the web.php let me just copy this on this route and paste it here so stop slash dashboard we are going to say here my orders so i am going to say here my orders let me just remove this name from here we are going to use home controller our function name will be my orders as well and we will also give this auth condition so let's go to our home controller and create this function. So let me just go to the app HTTP controller and we'll go to home controller. Just directly go down. Then here we're going to say public function by orders. Then we'll give to second bracket. So first of all, let's just return a view first. So we'll just say here return view. It will be home dot order. So save it and let's go to our home folder and create this order.blade.php. So just right click then click new file. We are going to say here order.blade.php. Control S. Then save. So let's just say here simple HTML and in the body let's say order page. Save it. Then let me refresh here. Click on my order. There you can see we are able to see order page over here. So right now, obviously we want some design, the same design like this one. So for it, let's go back to the code. And here, what we'll do is that we'll go to our index.bread.php. From here, let me just copy the include home.css and paste it in the head section. After that, from the index.blade, I am going to copy this deep class hero header section. Then paste it in the body over here. This will end over here and this div. After that, I am going to copy the footer part. Copy the footer part and paste it. Let's save this. And if we now refresh, I think we'll get an error. If we now click on my order, okay, we got an error for dollar count. The thing is here, you can see that over here in the my cart, 
we are also trying to get the total number of product the user added to their cart and it is in the home.header let me just show you if you go to the header.net.php there you can see we are getting the dollar count over here and we are sending this from the home controller my cart function okay let me just show you let me just search over here control a my cart the function is in the home controller my cart function so here you can see my cart so from here we are getting the total number of product in their cart so here you can see count so what i am going to do is that okay let me just show you everything step by step so here in the header section we have this dollar count right so here in the home controller uh, my order function i am going to declare a variable let's say dollar user equal to First of all, we need to get the logged in user ID. So we say here auth double clone user to first bracket this arrow sign ID. So if we write this, we'll be able to get the logged in user ID. And after that, we need to use the same variable in the header, which is dollar count. So here I'm going to say dollar count equal to we need to write a SQL query. So here we're going to mention our table name or our table name. Then we'll give double clone. We'll say here, where we are going to count the user ID. How many same user ID exist in the order table? So here you can see user underscore ID. So we we'll say user underscore ID is equal to this dollar user. Then we'll get the data and we'll count the data as well. So we'll say here, count. And we need to send this count variable to this view. So here we will give a comma. Then we we'll say here compact. We we'll say count. So this will send the total number of product that they have. Okay, it on the order table. It will be actually cart table. Because over here we are trying to get the total number of product in the cart. So here if you go to the cart table, there is zero product in the cart table currently so let me just add a product let me just add this product if you now refresh there you can see there is a product right now so we we'll count the total number of user id in the cart table not order table cart table here you can see user underscore id so we we'll get it and send it to this view so right now if we refresh it will not give us any error if we refresh then if we go to the my order page there you guess there is no error and we are able to see the total number of product in the cart so here in the middle between the header and the footer we are going to show a table and in that table we are going to show the order product so let's go back to the code then order.plate.php and here after this header i am going to mention a table so let's just say first div in this div we'll have a table in this table first of all let's have the table row and in this table row we'll have the table header so here in the table header let's show three four data let's say we'll show the only the product title product image product price and status delivery status and we'll get the product title image everything using the product id so first of all let's just go to the code and here we're going to say product name then we'll say here th it will be price after price we'll show the product status let's say here delivery status and the last one will be product image let's say here let's just say image so in order to show the data we need to mention another tier in this tier we'll say td td means table data and let me just say here a b c for now let me copy this then paste it three times save then if we now refresh here there you can see we have a table right now so we need to make a design for this so for it i'm just going to make it quick so here i'm going to write some css for the table tag t stack and td tag I'll make it quick. So 
uh, but before that let me just mention a class for this div let's say class will be div underscore center let's make our table in the center so in the header i'm going to mention a style then in the style we we'll say here dot div underscore center then to second bracket and it will be display it will be flex justify content it will be center items align items it will be centered as well let's also add some margin margin means some gap let's say it will be 60 px if we now set this then refresh here it will be in the center so let's go and make some design for the table so here in the style let's mention the table tag then we'll get to second bracket we're going to say here border it will be 2px solid let's say it will be black to be solid black after that we are going to say text align it will be center and the table width it will be let's say 800 px after the table tag we are going to mention the t stack so for t stack we we'll again mention the border it will be 2px solid sky blue let's say then we are going to say background color for the table header it will be black the text color it will be white and font size for the text color it will be let's say 18 90 px okay and font weight it will be bold let's also say here text align it will be centered save it again refresh here there you can see it look like this so for the table data let's just make some simple design as well so here we're going to say td tag then to second bracket let's say it will be border on px solid let's just go with sky blue and let's also see here padding it will be 10 px save it refresh and there you can see so right now we are going to show the data from the database table order data okay so for it let's go back to the code and we need to go to our home controller so here from here we need to send the order data so how can we send the order data here you can see we are already getting the logged in user id over here in this dollar user variable so we are going to declare another variable here let's say dollar order equal to we are going to mesh our order table name so we we'll say here order double clone we need to mention a wire condition where user underscore id comma dollar user then we'll get the data we'll only get the data so here those two sql query is same just the difference is here we are using the card table and here we are using the order table and we are not using any count over here so what we are doing is that let me just go to the order table and whatever data we have in the order table for a certain user and for example the logged in user is yamin so we are saying that we want to get the data for the logged in user yamin whose id is 4 and we will send those data to our this view so in order to send it after this count we need to give a comma to single quotation and we need to send this order variable so we'll say here order so right now we'll go to our order.blade.php and here you can see dr tag so in the order table there might be multiple data so we need to use at the right of for each loop so we we'll say here for each dollar order as dollar order and this for each loop will end over here we we'll say here at the right of end for each then in this TD, we are going to mention the product time, price, delivery status, and image. And the thing is, in the order table, we don't have product name, price, or image, but we have the product ID. So using the product ID, we'll be able to get the product details because we use product ID as a foreign key. So here, let me just show you. If I just go to the models, then if we go to our order table, there you can see we use user id and product id as a foreign key and here you can see public function product so using this we will be able to get the product data so right now over here what we are going to do is we will give to second bracket 
then first of all we need to mention this dollar order over here then this arrow sign after that we are going to mention this product variable or product function name then we'll give this arrow sign then we'll go to our products table and here you can see we write product name like this title price is like this and the name for the image is image so here first of all we want the title so we say here title after title let me just copy this paste it here after title we have the product price so here i'm going to say price and here we want the delivery status and the status is in the order table here you can see in the order table we have status and we are about to see the status so here we just need to say to say in bracket dollar order arrow sign status let me just save it then if we now refresh here there you can see we are able to see the product main freeze price and delivery status on the way in progress in progress so let's go and get the image so in order to get the image here we need to mention the image tag and in the image tag we need to mention where we store our image we store our image in the public folder in the public products folder so here we're going to say products slash it will be this one and instead of title here i'm going to say image let's also mention product height and width let's say height will be 200 and width it will be 300 let's say save it refresh and there you go so the customer is able to see the product name price delivery status and the product image so let me just go to the cart and here we already have a product in the cart let's also add this in the order so if i just click on place order product order successfully and if you go to my orders there you can see we are able to see my orders so right now let me just log out and let me log in as a different user if we log in as user give the password here press enter and if you go to my orders there you can see we are able to see different product for different user so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial how to do is that let me just log out and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can do your forget your password for your login for the user login if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials